Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of Med Surge Mentor. Today let's discuss a condition from the respiratory system and it's a lung condition that happens when the airways or tiny sacs at the end of the airways don't expand the way they should during breath. And the condition is atelectasis. All right, let's begin. Definition of atelectasis It is a complete or partial collapse or closure of the entire lung or a lobe resulting in reduced or absent gas exchange. Now let's move on to the etiology of atelectasis. There are two types of etiologies and they are obstructive and non-obstructive. If it occurs from blocked airway, this is called obstructive and if it occurs from pressure outside the lungs, it is known as non-obstructive atelectasis. Common etiologies of obstructive atelectasis are foreign bodies, airway tumors, mucus plaque and general anesthesia. Whereas common examples of non-obstructive atelectasis are Pleural effusion, pneumonia, chest trauma, pneumothorax, scarring of lung tissue, and tumors. Among this, general anesthesia is a common cause of atelectasis. Next is risk factors of atelectasis, and they are older age, long term lung diseases recent abdominal or chest surgery, recent general anesthesia, prolonged bed rest, weak respiratory muscles in conditions like muscular dystrophy and spinal cord injury, conditions or medications that may cause shallow breathing, pain or injury like rib fracture and smoking. Pathophysiology of atelectasis Due to etiologies like obstructive or non-obstructive factors, there is reduced ventilation or blockage in the air passage. It results in obstruction of air to and from alveoli. Due to this, trapped alveolar air is absorbed into the bloodstream. Gradually, Affected portion of the alveoli becomes airless, resulting in alveoli collapse or atelectasis. Major clinical features of atelectasis are difficulty in breathing, rapid shallow breathing, wheezing, cough, increased heart rate, and cyanosis. Major diagnostic measures done to rule out atelectasis are CT scan, pulse oximetry, chest x-ray, ultrasound of the thorax, and bronchoscopy. Some of the common complications of atelectasis are respiratory failure, pneumonia, and hypoxemia. Some of the common managements of atelectasis are treat the underlying cause, antibiotic therapy, mucolytic agents, chest physiotherapy, deep breathing exercises, incentive spirometry, continuous positive airway pressure, and surgery to correct underlying cause. Some of the common nursing diagnoses for patients with atelectasis are ineffective breathing pattern related to lung collapse as evidenced by shortness of breath, impaired gas exchange related to ventilation perfusion mismatch, risk for respiratory failure related to lung collapse, activity intolerance related to hypoxia, Fear and anxiety regarding uncertain outcome. Altered nutritional status less than body requirement related to anorexia. Risk for arrhythmias related to cardiac hypoxia. 
and risk for impaired skin integrity related to prolonged bed rest. Common nursing cares of patient with atelectasis are monitor oxygen saturation, respiratory rate and lung sounds, position patient with head of the bed elevated in a semi follows position, change the position of the patient every two hours, administer humidified oxygen through appropriate device, encourage slow deep breathing using incentive spirometer, suction as necessary. For post-operative patients, assist with splinting the chest, provide reassurance and reduce anxiety, pace activities and schedule rest periods to prevent fatigue, and instruct patient to limit exposure to persons with respiratory infections. With this, we are finishing the short review of the respiratory condition, atelectasis. It is the complete or partial collapse of the lungs. We have also discussed etiology, risk factors, pathophysiology, clinical features, diagnostic measures, complications, management, nursing diagnosis and nursing care. Thank you so much for watching and if you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.